Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Lonkers and Bucks. Good to see you. I hope everything is well. Wanted to say hello to Stacy, Oscar, and Randy, new subscribers yesterday. Everybody say hello. Uh, welcome back. This is um, the beginning of next year. So I, I put together a compilation of some fishing trips and hunting trips from last year. And uh, it's got some of the types of fish I caught, types of lures, and, of course, uh, you know where they're at. Uh, if you're local to Tidewater or going to visit uh, Virginia Beach, th these places are all where you can access them. Uh, but again, that's Lunkers and Bucks. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time to you know, spend a little bit of, of your life with me. Uh, thank you. Uh, let's get on. This spot here is a good speckled trout location next to the Chamberlain Hotel and the HRBT. Uh, it's a really good restaurant down the way called the Dead Rise. As you can see, I've, I've caught something that is not a speckled trout. Uh, it's actually called a razor fish or a cutlass fish. Never caught one of these before. It is a weird looking animal, uh, but it was fun catching it. Didn't really know what to do with it, so I just threw it back. This next spot is a Little Creek amphibious base. You can still access it uh, off the base. Lots of uh, speckled trout here, red drum. That's what I'm fishing for, using shrimp on a clacker. For all my military uh, personnel, thank you for your service to the country. I come from a military family, uh, Army and Navy, uh, but we always did go for Navy beating Army. Uh, but again, uh, thank you for your service. This fish you see here is actually just a, a baby drum, but uh, when you look at the colors, it's just such a pretty fish. Lots of small ones in here, but every so often you'll get a, a nice big drum. They can get, you know, very large. Now we're at the Northwest River out of Bob's Fishing Hole. A lot of times people call this black water, and I'm using a uh, hook rattle chug. Uh, and I was catching these bass at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Usually I catch my fish in the morning or in the evening, but I thought all this extra noise might bring in some extra fish. Damn if it didn't. Caught a bunch of these. Not huge, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Good place to put in is Bob's Fishing Hole off of uh, Battlefield Boulevard. Next here is the Intracoastal Waterway. It's right down the street from my house. One of my favorite places to fish. It's brackish and you can catch everything. Uh, bass, catfish, uh, speckled trout. I got a video in here where we caught 50 uh, white perch in you know, maybe two hours. Uh, this is nighttime fishing. I'm using uh, cut brim. And as you can see, it's not a bad size for out here. And it's pitch black outside of my headlamp. So it was an interesting fishing trip. One thing I'll note is, even if you have a light on, don't anchor in the channel. There are boats that come through here all night, and you can't hear them, and they can't see you. And again, there's lights in the background. They may not be paying attention, so make sure you're not anchoring your kayak in the channel. Look at that bad boy. And most of these fish are catch and release. I'll keep a couple, you know, to put something on the table, but I just like catching them and putting them back for another day. I do have a list of all my gear in the uh, description box below. Get a chance to take a peek. What I'm using here, I use uh, circle hooks or when I'm catfishing, uh, best best hook out there. Now here I moved over to Ragged Island off of the James River Bridge and I'm, I'm really first time out here trying to catch whatever I can. I'm using uh, different types of lures, jigs right now, and it looks like I've got, yep, that's a little puppy drum, getting a little bit bigger out here. I've used rattle traps, top water out here works well, jerk baits, red and white jerk baits. Uh, I'm on light tackle. Most of this water is only about four or five feet deep. Uh, great spot for crabbing uh, as well. Got other crabbing videos out there. Again, here it's uh, Probably a one fourth ounce jig head with a white body, red tail. Red and white always works well for me. And as usual, I have forgotten my net. <laughs> Don't forget a net. Now this is another little hidden pond off of the Intracoastal Waterway. And I'm fishing a top water. There's one on. 
um, Torpedo, another one of my favorite ones out here. Not very deep, even at high tide, about five, six feet deep in this little hole. And I've got my jugs out, just trying to catch whatever's in here to find out what type of fish. Uh, I've, I've dropped off, I caught a catfish earlier, popping line on something big. And of course, everything feels big on light tackle. Yep, I remember that. That's a uh, small striper, a little schoolie as we call them down here. A lot of stripers on the intracoastal. Now it's not the right time of year for stripers. It's one of my favorite eating fish, um, but stripers are always fun to catch. Here's another one, uh, another drum off of uh, Ragged Island. Good place to hunt and fish. Uh, there's other air, oh, boom. Yep, hold on to the fish. And all these lures here, the uh, that jerk bait caught all these fish, the drum, the speckled trout, boom. I do a lot of jug fishing. Uh, now that's a little baby bowfin. This time I brought my net. I'm using uh, cut up brim. I'd usually go to another lake and catch a bunch of brim. That's my uh, gateway fish to this addiction. As you can see a nice small baby bowfin spot on the tail. You can usually tell the difference between that and a snakehead uh, from its bottom fins. This one's a little bit bigger. <laughs> and when you're on a kayak, these things have teeth. Jumping around like that, it gets your blood pumping. Look at that bad boy. One of my favorite fish to catch. They are absolute beast. And back down here at Northwest River, one of the things I love about this place, dead freaking calm. Absolutely beautiful. Black water gets a different smell to it than most of the fresh water that you find. Here it's again only four or five feet deep. Use another one of those um, torpedoes in shallow water. Mr. Uh, tree roots. Banging them out. This was earlier in the morning. Me without my net. <laughs> Red and white. Red and white. Bam. Nice little dad. Here I am catching some uh, brim over at Lake Lawson. Usually I'll go out, catch a little bit, and sometimes it's hard to find the bait, so I like to catch it before I head out. Of course, Fred Bear is one of my favorite hunters. Now we're moving into the, the hunting section here. Um, it's more about getting out there and doing it. Instead, of, you know, yes, it's nice to you know take an animal, put some meat on the table, uh, but it's just beautiful being out there. Here I'm in the Great Dismal Swamp, as you can see. Uh, there's water all down there, it's mucky all kinds of wild nature out there. Now the bugs are bad during the summertime, so if you go, uh, make sure you're taking some mosquito netting, stuff like that. But it is just, it's its all nature out there. They do a good job of keeping people out. Do a little bow hunting, a little gun, uh, depending on the time of year. And here we are, some, there's something I got this year, a little eight point, and um, just scouting, getting out there, walking around, using my GPS. Uh, as you can see, this is just, Thanks for watching. Let's have another great year. Longer some bucks.